Alright folks, thank you for checking in with Stormtopia.com and the Stormtopia.com Facebook page. We're going to do the weather update right now. You know what's interesting? We're only going to use one type of map over one area for this entire video. But you know what? It really tells a story. And the map is the radar imagery, crucial every severe weather outbreak. And we're just going to go over an analysis of what's already happening, what's happening now, and now casting of what I expect to happen over the next few hours. So let's take a look at what the radar imagery looked like at 3.30 this morning. I want you to, for a second, to concentrate on the little ugly green blotch in Virginia and the Carolinas. And what I wanted to circle there was ground clutter over uh, those radar sites. And you say, oh, Nick, way to go. You circle what we see with birds and planes or whatever the heck flies through those radar sites. That is um, That gives you an idea. Building humidity, building the uh, dew points in your... That's where you're... Con that's where you're um, what, do, what do I call it? Convection or whatever is getting ramped up at that time. That's that's just at three thirty in the morning we're already getting, you know, that, that that area of uh favorability for storms developing. And um there are th there's our line of storms out there in the mid uh mid Ohio Valley. It's three thirty in the morning but they say, I don't need the stinking daylight, I'm gonna rage all night long while you're sleeping. So there they are, severe lonely. Fast forward a few hours to six in the morning and you see what's happening at this point. We've still got a nasty line of storms. At this point, poised from about Nashville all the way straight through southern Pennsylvania. And there's basically no breaks in the action between those two areas. Some of the nasty storms at this point are coming through uh, the northern border of Tennessee and Kentucky. And some of the nastiest storms are coming through West Virginia at this point. Two hours later, we make our way out to 8 in the morning, and at this point, the case is clear. We've got severe weather that's developed very much according to the forecast uh, across much of Tennessee, back through Kentucky, back through West Virginia, back through Pennsylvania. It is mostly just plain old rain in Pennsylvania. Got a couple of thunder boomers out there, but no, I wouldn't really qualify it as too much severe. Okay, and at this point... The fast is going very much as planned. These storms are making their way into Virginia, or excuse me, West Virginia, and they are very much dangerous in doing so now. Just after 9 in the morning at 9.15 a.m., the case uh, was, what was developing was that on the southern portion of this line, things are uh, beginning to change. Behind the line, all along, I want to take you back to 8 a.m., or at 8 in the morning, and what's happening is it's a very nasty line of storms with some heavy rain at the back end. But by 9 a.m., that heavy rain has become much more pronounced and much more heavy over a much larger area. At this point, like the entire state of Kentucky is getting heavy rain behind this line of storms because it's about to move into the western portion of Virginia. Okay. Meanwhile, south of that, we've got more nasty storms across Tennessee, more nasty storms across West Virginia for the Appalachians. 10 in the morning, we go... And what we notice is developing here by 10. Hi, Daddy. And uh, my program almost crashed, but we're trying to get it to work. All right, here we're at 10 in the morning. Those there's more heavy rain moving through Kentucky, moving through around Paducah. Okay, more heavy rain moving through West Virginia. Kind of a combination of rain and storms in West Virginia at this point. Moving, uh, and then we got more storms starting to make their way into Maryland. And at this point. Our convection is still building, and you just see the convection out here in um, eastern, eastern, e just east of the river, okay, east of North Carolina. That's your humidity building up. That's not necessarily ground clutter, but that's just showers that were caused by this building, uh, dew points, etc. And then we take a look what's going on. Uh, well, what I want to do is uh, just show you a loop of what essentially happened after that. If I can get this uh, thing to work here going to be a little wait because we know how difficult it is for these loops to work. I'm trying to loop to this time, but it doesn't look like that wants to work for us. So I'll just skip that footing at this time. You did on that little misframe through around Birmingham. Okay, so very lar large line of storms. Uh, but at this point, we if you remember my map, I mean, it's below this video. Oh, I mean, a link is below the video, and then below the link is my map. This was essentially, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember exactly, but I had like a wide, I had like widespread severe storms okay, across this general area or something like that. And then otherwise, I had um, scattered severe storms. At this point, that's what's occurring. A well-defined line of storms coming through central and eastern Virginia right now. These are scattered 
This is insane. Although they are severe, even though I don't see any warnings up, I expect that to change. Meanwhile, for rain, moving from western Virginia, flatly for the south and that, we make our way well south and east of Nashville. We've got nasty storms in the southeast corner of Tennessee. And look towards... And what we're seeing at this point, for the past couple hours, we've just seen these supercells sparking between 1 after 12. That's when we, that's when we started seeing supercells getting sparked across the state and uh, across portions of northern Mississippi. And now they're moving through Alabama. My concern is that if these don't die, they could make their way into the Atlanta as a, a major problem. Now, a lot of folks in um, Virginia right now, I know that my main area, of, I know, you don't need to read and, you know, I just want to talk about what I believe is going to occur here for Richmond and areas surrounding. So, Richmond, listen up right now. What's happening is, you Stormtopia fans, I'll just draw a line. This is, this is the floor. And please excuse my art skills. This is a Stormtopia fan, okay? He's, then at this point, you got your layer of where your storms can sp spark. This is where your we got your cape between three and six hundred isolated higher spots. You've got your lifted index of between one and three below, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then a storm comes through, moving out of the southeast. Oh, by the way, up here is this layer of the atmosphere. That's where your very strong winds are moving through. And then the storm comes. When that storm hits that convective area, it just explodes. Okay, it goes way up here. So at this point, the storm has tapped your strong winds up at around 850 to 900 millibars. Now let's get rid of all that nasty drawing and keep the Stormtopia fan. When that storm hits those winds at 950 millibars, the storm, it's hit its strong winds, it's got strong winds contained in the upper atmosphere, and then at times, in gusts, those winds come down to the surface. And then the Stormtopia fan gets damaging wind. Now, that would be the threat. That would, that's the primary threat across most of Virginia right now. I'm not going to lie. The tornado threat in this area of the country is weak, so don't count on too many naders around there. Right? But I think I think the higher threat is for that damaging wind, and it is local. So we've got some storms producing it back in here. We've got some storms in here that are producing it. Storms in here. Not everybody sees it, but that's the case. Okay, so going to be a now casting situation. I need you to go to stormtopia.com right now, and then after you watch this video, below it's a link to our Facebook page. Stay tuned to our Facebook page. Lots of great weather discussion going on on there, as well as, um, of course, continuing intermediate updates between these videos that I do. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative to you weather lovers. Stay tuned for more updates.